All right, really quick. I want to show you class dojo. All right, um, I just assigned you kids some more homework on quizzes. It is about the present perfect. Do we all remember what the present perfect verb tense is? Um, yes. Yes, I remember. Yes, you I are. think. What do you think it is, Tell me. Yes. Hmm. All right. Um, all right. I will. I think I, I have a video that I recorded a while ago about the present perfect. So I'm going to attach that to the homework. So if there are some questions, you can watch this video. Also, um, on Friday, again, we're going to go into small groups and do some more reading. OK, so if you want to check out, if you don't remember your time, just check this out on Class Dojo. Also, Srikat and Malika, are you here, ladies? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, uh, so we still in our own group? On Friday, yes. Srikat, are you here? Mm. All right. Anyways, let's go to section three, section four. I forget. No, this is section three. What page? Oh, page 57. <clears throat> page 57. This should be green. Section four, page seven. I mean, page 57. No, section three, page 57. Okay. All right, so this is review. So we should know most of this already. Teacher, how about the first two questions? Like these ones. Hmm? How about the first page? The first two pages we did last week. Did you miss a class? Oh, no. Okay, okay, I remember. All right. If you are not finished with the first two pages, you can go back and check the video, or you can send me a message on Class Dojo, and I will uh, give you, I'll send you a link to the video, okay? Joden, do you have a question, or you want to try number one? I want to try number one. All right. Uh, this guy's name is Ivan Kusomo. Go for it. Ivan Kusumo is a famous writer who has written many novels. Sorry, did you say have written or has written? Have written. All right, let's make sure we know Ivan Kusumo is, is a boy. He, she, it. Make sure we have an S here, okay? So we should have, Ivan Kusumo is a famous writer who has written many novels. We should have uh, option D there. All right, and this is what your homework is about, okay? Um, your homework that I just assigned on quizzes is uh, on the present perfect, meaning you are using the verb have, or if we have he, she, it, uh, you are using has. And then plus another verb 
In this case, we are using written, all right? Ivan Cusimo is a famous writer who has written many novels. So just make sure that when you go through the homework that you are paying attention to, are you using I or you or he, she, it? We'll make sure you have an S here on has, and then we are uh, making sure that you're using verb three, which is the past participle, all right? And I'll link another video to that just to review this. All right, number two. Who would like to try number two? All right, Ross, go for it. He worked hard. He didn't know. He didn't do well in his tests. All right, what do we think the answer should be there? Because. Well, let's look at our sentence. It says he worked hard, yeah? Yeah. So he worked hard and then it says he didn't do well on his test. If you work hard at something, do you think you will do a good job? Mm, yeah. Yeah, all right. So, but he worked hard and then he did not do a good job. So we did not get the expected result. We expect that he's gonna do a good job, but he didn't do a good job. So we need something that tells us the opposite of what uh, we think it's going to be. Do we remember this although, word? Although, although, although he worked hard, he did not do well in his test. All right. If okay. we wanted to put because here, we could say because he worked hard, he did do well in his test, but we uh, have got this not here. He did not do a good job. So um, we could also choose, but, all right. But if I choose the word, but I would say he worked hard and then I put, but right here, he worked hard, but he didn't do well in his test. So we should have option C here is our answer. Although he worked hard, he didn't do well in his test. Yes. Yes. All right, kids. We're doing lots of grammar today. Who's good at grammar? How about Terry? You want to try number three, please? My family went to Bali. Bali on holiday three times this year. Do you know where Bali is? No. Oh, it's a nice tropical island in Indonesia. You should go there. It's fun. All right. Um, we have a couple of different answer choices. If we want to link, uh, link this to the present, we want to use present perfect. Okay, we could say my family went to Bali on holiday three times this year. This is an okay sentence. Um, we could also say option A here, my family has gone to Bali on holiday three times this year. All right, if we are trying to talk about Bali with someone. If you're trying to talk about where you're going on vacation, you can say, my family has gone to Bali on three times this year. Also, family is uh, he, she, or it. I know there's more than one person in your family, but family is only one thing because we can have many, many families. So this is an it. So we would need to choose S here, has. All right, so once again, um, if you're just stating that you went to Bali, that is fine. We could also choose 
my family has gone to Bali three times this year. So A or D, both of them work depending on what you are trying to say. So uh, what is the real answer? What is the real answer? B I would, or A? I would probably choose A. My family has gone to Bali on holiday three times this year because I'm assuming that I'm talking about holidays with someone. And if I want to talk about things I did in the past, uh, but link them to the present, I could put has gone. But went is okay too. My family went to Bali on holiday three times this year. All right, um, number four. Kim Sai, you wanna try number four? Yes, Lin is go. Lin is going on holiday tomorrow. Is she? All right. Remember, this is question tags or tag questions. Oh. All right. So we've got. Is she? Lin is a she. And we have the word is here. So we have a positive sentence. We want a negative question at the end. Sorry. What was your answer? Is she? Remember, if we have is over here, we want negative. So we need the word not. Oh, isn't she? Isn't she. All right. So yes, Lynn is a she. So both of these things that say it are not going to work. And then if we have a positive sentence, we want a negative question. Lynn is going on holiday tomorrow. Isn't she? Next one, number five. Mina Hill, can you try number five, please? It's, it's mom's birthday, so shall we take her out to lunch for a treat? That's it. I shall suggested. I suggested to the family. All right. Yes. Here we are making a suggestion. I suggested to the family. All right. So, yes. Shall we take her out to lunch for a treat? All right. Treat meaning cake or ice cream or pizza or whatever your mom wants to do. All right. Number six. David, can you try number six, please? Excuse me. Excuse me, do you have any books uh, for from about oceans? The young man asked. All right, sorry, what's your answer there? About about okay yes about is probably our best choice here excuse me do you have any books for oceans uh we can't have books for oceans you are not an ocean all right also oceans cannot write books so we cannot say from oceans our answer choice should be about we want more information about oceans Okay, number seven. Tycoon, can you try number seven, please? I was tired. I was tired, so so I didn't go to the cinema. All right, so here we are just giving a reason why we have not gone to the cinema. Okay, I was tired, so I didn't go to the cinema. Uh, we cannot choose and, uh, there would be no comma here if we were choosing and, and also uh, these just do not make sense here. Um, I was tired because I didn't, I didn't go to the cinema. That just doesn't make sense. Yes, so we are just stating a reason why we have not gone to the cinema. All right, number eight, 
who have I not heard from yet? How about Lee Meng? Can you try number eight, please? It has, has anyone seen the newspaper I left on the table? I can't find it. All right. So, yes, we want to choose either anyone or everyone. Okay, when we have these words ending in thing, like anything and everything, that means we're talking about something that is not human. So those don't make sense. Um, we can say, has anyone seen the newspaper on the table? I can't find it, all right? This means we are talking uh, to anybody who has seen this newspaper. I could also choose, uh, has everyone seen the newspaper I left on the table? But in this instance, uh, this means we want all of the people to take a look at the newspaper. If that was the case, I'd have a sentence something like, has everyone seen the newspaper I left on the table? This means you want everybody to look at it. But so our answer choice should be A here. I can't find it. So has anyone seen it? Number nine. Holland, can you try number nine, please? Hmm, all right. Jupiter, can you try number nine, please? Ellie is very sad. He lost his wallet on the bus this morning. All right. Um, so here we have the past tense, all right? Ali's very sad. He lost his bus uh, this morning. This morning tells me I need to use past tense. This already happened, all right? If I want to use present perfect, perfect, this means he just lost his wallet. He has lost his wallet. But this, this morning tells me I need to use the past tense here. So it should be lost. All right. Next one. Kim John, are you at the beach? Yes. Hey, I can hear you. Your microphone is working. All right. Can you try number 10, please? Yes, now that we have cleaned the whole house, every, everything looks so clean and new. All right, so yeah, we cleaned the whole house, meaning all of the house, and we have everything, uh, meaning all of the things look clean and new. All right, nothing else really makes sense here. Um, everything, all of the things, because we cleaned the whole house. Are there any questions about this? No. No. Are you sure? All right, once again, uh, some of us got here a little bit late. Make sure you do the homework on quizzes, okay? It's all about the present perfect, which uh, are things like uh, number one here, has written, all right? You can check that out after class though. All right, let's check out some vocabulary. This is a vocabulary close, meaning we are going to use these words from the box to fill out the rest of these sentences. So um, here we have the words harmless, travel guides, curious, frightening, and poison. All right, um, who can tell me what does harmless mean? No. Harmless means they're not like Harmless means like it's not hurt. 
All right, kids, let's make sure we're not all talking at the same time. Otherwise, we cannot understand anything. All right, when you have L-E-S-S -S at the end of a word, um, this means no, as in no harm can come from this animal. So it means this animal will not hurt you, okay? Or like a baby, a baby is harmless. A baby's not going to hurt anybody. All right, number two here, what is what is a travel guide? David, what is a travel guide? A travel guide, it means like it's guiding you from your uh, destination. Mm, kind of, yeah. Okay, so um, this helps you out while you are traveling. It is a like a book that you use to help you when you are on holiday or in a vacation somewhere else. All right, uh, next one. Lee Meng, can you tell me what curious means? Hmm. All right, Gigi, can you tell me what curious means? I have no idea. Hmm, really? Teacher, right. I know what curious means. Jordan, what does curious mean? Curious mean ask a lot. Want to know? Want to know about something so much? Okay, so yeah, if someone is curious, they are probably asking a lot of questions because they want to know more about something. We're looking for more information. All right. Next one, frightening. Um, Hannah, what does frightening mean? Frightening, frightening means uh, very scary. All right, yes, something that is very, very scary, like a monster or a ghost. And Roth, do we remember what poison is? I think I told you last week. Not, not sure. Not sure, that's all right. That's why we are reviewing these words. Tell me, what is poison? Something that can hurt you if you drink or get bitten by it or stinged like a scorpion. All right, yeah, poison is something we do not want in our body. Some animals are poisonous like snakes and scorpions. Those things can hurt you or even kill you if you have poison, all right? Or sometimes uh, people eat poison accidentally, all right? Um, it could be in your food, or sometimes uh, we have like lots of things that should not go inside of our body, like things we use to kill germs, okay? Like those are things we don't want to eat because they might kill you if you get them in your body. All right, so we are going to read an article about the world's most poisonous octopus, all right? So this is an octopus that you should probably stay away from because it can kill you. All right, uh, let's see. Who have I not heard from yet? Um, Gigi, you wanna read for us, please? Sure. Did you know that the world's most poisonous octopus is as small as a go golf ball? It is, it is called the blue rage, rage octopus. All right, keep going. It says to Australia, warn swimmers about it. It lives in. All right, well, let's try and answer number one here. If you are going to Australia and you're trying to go around there, what would you need? Drink. 
travel guides? Yeah, all right. So it says travel guides to Australia warn swimmers about it. Okay, so uh, if you ever see a travel guide to Australia, maybe it has something about this. It is the blue ringed octopus. So I'm assuming that this octopus Wait. has rings on its body. Okay, on to the video. All right, Holland, can you continue for us, please? I'm so happy that I caught up work. Uh, Gigi, what are you playing? Oh, that's my friend Ross there. Ross, keep yourself on mute. Stop playing video games. GXI Roth Gaming. It says I'm not playing video games. Huh? Well, what's all the noise, man? Holland, are you there? My sister watch movie, okay? Okay. All right, Visal, are you here? Oh man, all right. Roth, why don't you read for us, please? Yes. The poison of this tiny octopus can kill a person. OMG. In, keep going. In, in a minute, the most blank thing about the octopus is that it ha it is had hard it is hard to see in the water all right so um what adjective should we put there poison no poison is a noun we want to think of something that's Scary. Frightening. All right, yeah. So this is frightening. It is scary uh, that it is hard to see this octopus, probably because it is very small. It's the size of a golf ball. And it's also blue, just like water. All right, so it's kind of hard to see. And that's kind of scary because this thing can kill you in minutes, it says. All right. Um, Kim Sai, can you continue reading for us, please? If. If a blue ring octopus bites, uh, you, you feel this thing. Is that? Dizzy very quickly. Soon after that, you cannot see properly and be become sign less in seconds. All right, thank you. Uh, do we know all these words, kids? What does dizzy mean? Um, dizzy no. means that dizzy. So dizzy means that. Jodan, what do you think dizzy means? Um, does he mean having a headache or sick? Yeah, kind of. Have you kids ever like spun around like you keep spinning in circles? Or I don't get dizzy. You go on a roller coaster, you will get dizzy, okay? This means it's difficult for you to stand up because uh, we are getting busy. And then we also have this word sightless. Domi, do you know what sightless means? Yes, it's like being blind. Like and being I can't blind. Blind. Yes, so and I can't so get busy. Uh, and we once again have this L-E-S-S -S at the end of the word, meaning no sight or you cannot see. So all these things are not very good. Uh, because this octopus is very poisonous. All right. Um, 
Tycoon, you like to read about animals. Can you continue, please? Next. Next, you become speechless and you also lose your sense of touch. After only three minutes, you cannot breathe or move. All right. Do you know what the word speechless means? That means you don't know what to say. Um, well, it doesn't mean you don't know what to say. It just means you cannot talk. Okay. So once again, we have L-E-S-S -S at the end of this word. This means you cannot talk, you can't say anything. So all these things are super bad for you, yes? It means we are dizzy, you can't stand up, you can't see, you can't even talk. And then it also says you lose your sense of touch, which means you cannot feel things. All right, um, Kim John, can you continue for us, please? There are. There are no trolls of the... This word is known cures. To for, for the blank. Ah, the poison of this octopus. Did right. you see what we don't? Yeah, we can stop right there. Thank you. All right, so yeah, there are no known cures for the poison of this octopus. So. Once again, um, poison is something very, very bad. We do not want that in our body. A cure means you are getting medicine. So we don't know any medicine that will help us with the poison of this octopus. That is why it is very dangerous. All right, um, Thierry, can you keep reading for us, please? If you see one, don't be curious and go near it. All right, yes. So we do not want to be curious. This thing is very, very dangerous. You don't want to touch it. You don't even want to be next to it. Curious. And lastly, who can finish this off here? Who have I not heard from? Colin, are you alive? Vishal, are you here? Oh, Li Meng looks tired. All right, Li Meng, can you fill out this last sentence for us, please? Okay. It looks, it looks, I see, sorry. harmless, but it is very dangerous. All right, it looks harmless, meaning it looks like it cannot hurt you, but it is very dangerous, even though it is small. All right, do we have any questions about this? Yes. What, what's your question, David? Is that octopus real? Uh, yeah, I think so. I was just going to look it up, actually, because this octopus seems very dangerous. I want to know what it looks like. That way I don't go anywhere near this thing. All right. Teacher, I know what it looks like. Have you seen one before? Be. No, I saw YouTube videos. Oh, you saw YouTube videos. Well, Let's check it out right now. It looks so um, cool, but it's like really dangerous. Blue ring octopus animal. All right, so here is someone with one on their hand. I don't think that's smart if it's super. So, so small. Ah, like so a yes, it does have blue rings here, even though wow. it's yellow, but it has blue rings. It looks kind of cute, but I'm not going to play with it if it's okay. very, very poisonous. Uh, teacher? Yes. <laughs> teacher? Does a blue ring octopus kill people? And which country do they live? Um, Australia, it says. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to Australia. They say Teacher, around Australia. Does it kill people? Yes. Does it kill people? Yes. So why would that guy touch it? I don't know. I don't think he is being very smart. Probably uh, the 
teacher, the blue, teacher the blue. Ram teacher Ramsey. Yes, Hannah. The octopus almost looks like a spider. She? Yes, octopuses and spiders both have, or octopi and spiders both have eight arms. Teacher, uh, octopus like live in the deep, deep uh -huh. uh, ocean or like a high, like low, you know, ground. We just read this stuff. All right, it says um, they live in shallow water, so not deep. So these will hang out where you are swimming in Australia. So watch out. If you see one, don't touch it. Teacher Ramsey? Yes, David. I think the, the man who touched that octopus is probably dead already. Maybe, could be. It doesn't seem like he's very smart. Um, we're going to cut off, kids, so go eat some lunch, and we'll, we can talk more about this at 1 p.m. Yay! Thierry, please remind me if you need to finish that crossword puzzle, because Bye. I'll answer that at 1 p.m. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.